Here's the angle addition postulate solution, just in case uh, you did want to go through with it. This is the second in the series. Hopefully you watched the first one, otherwise this absolutely makes no sense. So here is our original problem. The measurement of angle EFG equals 31x plus 2. The measurement of angle EFC is equal to 34. And the measurement of angle CFG is equal to 16x minus 2. So I need to find EFG. Now, as we were speaking, uh, or, or as I mentioned before, what you want to make sure that you do is match your original setup to the picture. So I can see that EFG is the big angle. So EFG. And I need to set it equal to the two smaller angles. So I have EFC here. By the way, this just means measurement of angle. Because otherwise it's just a little bit vague. And then I've got, this is CFG. And now that I have it set up, it's really a simple solution on the way down. So let's just do it. I'm going to place the value of EFG here. I'm going to place the value EFC here. And I'm going to plus, uh, or add the value of CFG here. Now, if you had just gone the way that the problem said, this actually kind of works out in your, in your favor. But a lot of times it doesn't. So make sure that it all matches up the way that you want it to. So from here, I'm going to draw my line, combine like terms. 34 minus 2 is 32. Uh, this is uh, what we call a uh, pork chops and applesauce component, so it's got x on both sides. So I'm going to eliminate it, an x term on one side, or a variable term, and come with my solution. I've got 15x. Bring down my plus 2. Subtract 2 from both sides. I'm going to bore you with a long talk about how to do that. Hopefully, if you're at this point, you're pretty good at solving equations. x equals 2, so it's got to be this one, right? No, it's it's really not. Um, they want you to find the value of EFG, so you need to figure out what the, comp uh, what the original equation says about EFG, and it's 31x plus 2, and plug that 2 back in. So 31... I was just doing 31x plus 2. I plugged in the value of x that I got. 31 times 2, uh, that's 62, plus 2 more. That gives me 64. So there's your value. This one was pretty simple. Uh, but remember, they can be a bit tricky. So make sure that this original statement matches the picture and not necessarily the order they gave you the words.